Okie doke. Alright, double check the TV. A whole lot of nothing. And it's a Friday night. Not sure if Koromaru wants to go for a walk. No, he's not. Let me check my money. 216. I don't have enough. Um, those of you who don't know, I'm trying to actually get Koryu uh, from the Hierophant Arcana. Because I just maxed him out in the last episode. <clears throat> Max that uh, Bunkichi <clears throat> Mythical Ar uh, Arcana, which again is considered the other best Arcana in the game. And maybe one of these days I'll go ahead and break down my take on it, as well as the other social links, because there's a lot. There's a lot, and I want to make sure I do the breakdown right before this game is over, so that way can, we can go ahead and reflect. Heck, I might even go ahead and do a tier list in a future video. Who knows? But, uh, anyway. <clears throat> Alright. The reason I'm not going to Tartarus is because I'd rather wait till the full moon. That way we can really push in that money. Push that paper, if you will. Helps with agility. <clears throat> exam start next Monday, so let's go over some historically significant years. 645, Taika reform. 710, Heijo Kyo was established. 794, Heian Kyo was established. I want to skip forward a few hundred years. Feel tired. Close your eyes. Stay awake. 1185, Battle of Danonura. 1194, the Kakamura Shogunate is established. Oh, Kamakura, my bad. <laughs> Kakamura. <laughs> I'm thinking of a whole other movie, folks. Oh, we're getting close to the age of the samurai. Stay up and listen to the lecture. Alright, so as we know, ain't nobody. It's a Saturday. I highly doubt because he's here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So in case you forget. And exams are coming up. So anyone school staff related is not going to be able This also means Mitsuru Senpai. Which sucks. If y'all don't believe me, see? She'll usually be right here. So. That's it. Without good reason. So, town map. Let's do that. So go Poloni Mall. Strip mall or the shrine. Let's check the strip mall in case if uh, home slice. Okay, he's not here. That's okay. <clears throat> check the shrine. Yep, she's there. Personally, I prefer finishing her social link before Nozomi. Nozomi may be comedic for me, but Michael has a more compelling story. Blue by. Oh, she's hungry. You know what? How about Japanese food? Oh, wild duck burger. It's a commercial. Frog burger. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Wild burger it is. Wild burger with Michael. Oh wow, they actually had a talk with her. Okay. Yeah, you did good. She got a point. That's good, that's good. <laughs> this girl. And that's the tough part. I I can't I can't choose that. I I, I can't. I'm sorry. sad part is that this again the familial dynamic in Japan and granted this 2009 context 
uh, traditional. Um, so usually by default, like usually, although it's the kid's choice, but usually if there's a divorce, usually they tend to go with the mom and then the dad does the work, you know. But, you know, this isn't like how it is today where now you have, where you have, in today's world, it is possible to actually have co-parenting. So um, the, the kid doesn't necessarily have to stay just with the mom or just with the dad. Like there can be days where like, let's say dad has days off, stays with the dad, days mom has off, stays with the mom. And then if there's, and then altering days, depending on work, you know, between the two. So that way, you know, they're getting a, a, a nice, healthy balance of both, you know, the mom and the dad. Um, unfortunately, not everyone's very good with co-parenting in that way or has the ability to do it that way. And that's why you got other systems in place or other things that are done in the event of a divorce or split. Um, and of course, it's, it's tough for the kid. But when the parents are adults emphasis on adults in their behavior they'll be able to explain to something simple like hey listen we may not be a thing together anymore but we both still love you and because you're our kid hey we're gonna make sure you're taken care of because when it comes to co-parenting when it comes to being a parent you know your thing isn't the center the kid is now granted you have to take care of yourself in order to be an effective parent. Like for example, if you're always focused on the kid, but then you're falling apart, guess what? Your parenting is not gonna play out. But if you take care of yourself, then it's easier to engage with the kid, and then it also in results ends up you being more effective as a parent with the kid. So small little gems of wisdom for those of you that aren't parents or are parents but still kinda new and still navigating and unsure. I'm just giving you my my little experience as Ronnie. The dad. <laughs> Puppy! It's a Saturday. Check the news. Political parties tried to oust the insurgents, but the opposing party was composed of over 50 members party chairman had no choice but to retract this statement. At this rate, there will likely be a debate over which party is in the wrong. Oh joy. You know what? Talk to puppy. Yes! Go for a walk. Yes. Let's do that. Oh, who's coming? Oh, my baby. Oh, she can't use the Koromaru charm. So never, so never mind her being nervous about my boys or men. <laughs> She'd be nervous about dogs too. Oh, we're here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know where we're going. We know this. You already know. My heart's probably gonna break with this guy today. Today's the day my heart's gonna break. Because uh, I'll be with y'all. His story, like, it almost broke me <laughs> the last time we, we paid him a visit. Ah, yeah, Akinari, right, let's do this. Hey, of course. Boy, I must tell you. I must warn you, though. It's a little depressing. Oh, boy. Here we go. Thank you. I've been waiting. I finished my story. I wanted to show it to you. Aginari wears a calm smile. As you know, I was having a lot of trouble with the ending. But I finally figured it out. Since the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a very long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a beautiful lake, around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree with delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. 
the end. That's the ending I decided on. Damn. Alligator, the pink alligator drowning in his sorrows. God damn. And yet, in all that sorrow, there is beauty. I want you to just sit on that for a second. And really digest that. Because, uh... It's very meaningful to where we're going in this in this game's story. Even though the alligator did not find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. Because the meaning of my life is not something I should worry about. It's really what others think of my life, or what I was able to do for them. So, for me, or you, or anyone, the meaning of our lives is something that we make but don't see. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. A lot of you that uh, like to be big and tough and hard, yeah, yeah, you better suck on this one. Um, he's speaking some truth, man. Like, if either you're trying to get ahead in your career, or you're trying to uh, succeed in a relationship, or either you're trying to raise a kid, you're trying to build a business, or you're trying to... You can't do this on your own. You can't do life alone. No man's an island, man. Trust me. It, it, you try to do that, you will fall apart. A person that's completely socially isolated, has no interaction with the world around them, they can't grow, they can't develop, they can't survive. Because eventually, loneliness will kill them. Just saying. I don't know if that made sense, but... Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. I'm glad. This is the notebook. I wrote my story. It's all I have to leave behind. I wanted you to have something. Since you shared my last mo- Damn. Fucking Ari stood up. My body feels lighter. Thank you for everything. Coming to see me, talking, even discussing the meaning of life. I, I can be glad I was born. Damn, we actually finished it. And I'm all fucked up inside right now, folks. For reals. Like, yo, this is why universally... Universally, when it comes to Sun Arcana for this game, his is goaded. Akinari's is goaded, man. Like the meaning of life and the mean, like all of that encompassing this game is encircled by his Arcana. And as we run to the finish, we're gonna, you will understand one way or another. It'll probably hit extra heavy when we play Persona 3 Reload in the future. Oh, we can get Asura. Nice. Mm. Yep, Asura, the grand being. I have to go now. Huh? Maybe someday. I hope we meet again. Canary disappeared into the afternoon sunlight. Yeah, music maker. By the way, welcome. Yeah, this thing got me all messed up. But yeah, that that, that blood disease. Uh, mm, let me tell you, man. This, this <laughs> I'll tell you, like, there's. There's this social link, and then there's the Land Before Time movie from when I was a kid. Both of them will break you, and this one's nearly got me fractured at this point. He gripped his notebook tightly and decided to head back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Now, fun little tidbit. The story of Akinari that he finished here 
in Persona 3. It makes its return in Persona 4. Persona 4 Golden, believe it or not. Um, we will get to that in the future whenever I decide to uh, live stream uh, Persona 4 Golden because it ends up being a book that Nanako is actually reading by the Pink Alligator and it's this exact same book. So I really liked how even though Persona 4 is its own story, a lot of stuff bleeding from Persona 3 are sprinkled through Persona 4 to make you not completely forget that, hey, you know, same universe type of thing. And I can easily say the same thing regarding Persona 5 and Persona 4 and 3. All right, so like for example, you got the Rize posters in the subway in, in Shibuya. You got uh, obviously Tanaka, but showing up on the interwebs instead of a TV, provided that you set up the laptop and everything in Joker's attic. So little things like that, that they bleed in, which is pretty cool. But I just thought I'd put that out there. news on television the next episode of phoenix ranger friend the man are the body politic check out investigating the official's disease now the news apathy syndrome still has no yeah yeah we know <laughs> what all that crap talking jupe did about studying for the exams and this and that earlier and now he's like oh i haven't studied what so you sat there and talked man shit to Yukari and you didn't even study. <laughs> we should fail to get you you're the cojones on this guy for real. Just this is un cabron de vela. It looks like he's smiling. Oh that's good. Very sweet. Yep, that's good. Yeah, routine helps. Routine helps. Yes, it's Sunday. Okay. All right. All right, this is what we're going to do. Oh, this lady, she's still here. Been the guy got warned by the boss for gathering info. For boss called me off, asked him away. Oh, he gave us the usual bull about not complaining. She's still digging that up. We can't work for money. There's nothing we can do. There's no reason to buy items here, so. Oh, punching bag. All right. Getting close to the new moon, which is pretty cool. And as per this playthrough, um, only time I go into Tartarus is either the minute something opens up or if we get called and are notified of someone that's gone missing into Tartarus. That's the only time I jump in. Question seems familiar. Okay. What year did the Battle of Nanogura? Danoura. It was 1156. Or was it 1185? It was 56. Oh, it was 85. Damn. I don't worry too much about passing this one as much because we already got the social link with uh, Mitsuru. Which element is found in the, Yos the ozone? Oxygen. Which will relate to Lorenz's force? Left hand rule. Translate the following, Fuyuwa Sutomete. Okay. Yeah. But some mornings are pleasant. Hmm. All right. 
Which plural is formed correctly? Cacti. Indexes does not exist. Uh, yeah. Give me one second. All right, last day. That's familiar. Give me one second. Hands appended. Everyone's here. So many people. Still in council. It's a Saturday. Anyone in the PA room? No. Yep. Uh, right. One of the Mitsu's over here. Cause again, her opinion. Oh, there she is. Yes, my wife is right here. Come on, let's go. I never say no to Mitsu. It's just non-negotiable. Word. I'm not gonna lie, even though I haven't eaten octopus in a very, very, very long time, it was one of those seafoods that was always delicious. My mom used to make it uh, when I was a kid, so there's that. Oh, damn. Hey, I'll treat you a takoyaki thorn. <laughs> Cash is still king, baby. C'est très bon. Oh. Hey, she's digging. All right. It's opening her up, so... What's what's interesting here with the social of Mitsuru is that a lot of the expanding horizon stuff is similar to what you would eventually see with Makoto's Priestess Arcana in Persona Five. So I noticed that elements of Mitsuru got filtered over to Makoto, and I can now understand why a lot of people are Makoto pro Makoto waifus uh, for lifeus type folk. But that's another story. Does that make you happy? Yep. Um, wait, 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 wait. Like, I can remind so many things about myself. Maybe you're anxious. Maybe so. Oh, that was the right answer. Whoa, that's not true, baby. You're learning now. It's okay. So this goes back to the concept of how people be like, oh, you're so mature for your age. You're so wise beyond your years. In reality, you're just masking up your immaturity, hiding behind adult-like behavior. But uh, don't tell me none. Saying, because trust me, I used to hear that a lot with some people. Be like, "Oh, this person's wise beyond their years." No, they're not. A lot of them were forced to quote unquote grow up. In reality, they're uh, it's masked by their trauma. In reality, there's a lot of stuff they didn't grow up in or develop in, and as a result, when they finally reach adulthood and confronted with things they actually weren't equipped to prepare for. Uh, there's a lot of freaking out going on and that's where all of a sudden the embedded not embedded but I would say the suppressed anxiety and depression start to show up I'm just putting out there folks uh, yeah hey 
gonna cheer you on, baby. There you go. Back to the door. What's up, dude? What up? Oh, she went for a walk around town. Yep, she's seen what's happening. Oh yeah, we gotta do something. Oh, there's no point going there now. And it's Saturday, so I can't really do anything. Nothing but sun on today's weather map for the rest of the week. For everyone who's looking forward to a white Christmas, too bad. Now, let's join the rest of the gang back in the studio. Well, I don't know, folks. Right now, people in New York and New Jersey right now are enjoying lots of snow with the sun out. So, I'm just saying. Welcome to Hyper Action News, bringing you all the day's news and more news besides. Hi, puppy. Oh, he wants to go for a walk. Finally. Let's do this. Someone's coming. Uh, Kenji. I hate when we run into people that we already maxed out. I like it when it's people we haven't maxed out that show up. Carrie's room. Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. Aw, are you feeling won't we? Oh no, she did. <laughs> hey, are you teasing me? No. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> You're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me but I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated, but I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within him, amplifying his abilities. Though he was exceptional to begin with. Which is why we can wield the wild card. He's an interesting guy, huh? You're right. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. See, remember what I said about Akinari and how his arcana brings full circle to the theme of this game? This is what I'm talking about. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai... When we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Together! Sorry. The Riker in me could not resist. So now it's Sunday. Akinari is gone. We know this. No, no not the whole. Nothing. Wow, there we go. Check the TV, see what's popping. <laughs> Featherman. Alright, Demon and Robot, Tanika. Now the news. Still no apathy, blah blah blah. What's up, Fuka? It's almost Christmas. The true meaning. Hey. Joy to the world. <laughs> yep, that's right. Alright. There is still another person we can actually go visit now. And that's our star boy. He should be here. Yep, there he is. Mamoru. What's up, Ron? 
I'm gonna grab some chow. All right, let's do that. Sweet. Can we meet at the beef bowl shop? I'm not done with my workout yet, but I'll be there as soon as I can. My God, that trash is overflowing. Can someone empty that out? Jesus, people. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I kept you waiting. <sighs> you okay? <sighs> yeah, just <sighs> need more training. <sighs> Let's go in, yeah? I'm thirsty. Enjoy the beef bowl with Mamoru. It tastes better with two people. I used to come here a lot with my teammates, but Come here again. <laughs> You're the only one who says that anymore. They wouldn't come now, even if I invited them. Don't let me get along with people who don't take the club seriously. Checks up practice, you know. Lack of concentration. Mama seems to be pondering something intently. I used to love it there, you know. I spent all my time practicing kendo. You guys all love kendo. We always had so much fun. That doesn't matter. They can't understand what I'm going through. I'll just have to surpass them. Get even better than I am now. You can sense Mamoru's passion about his club. Sorry, that was a weird conversation. I think I power walked all the whole way home. Don't let yourself get lazy now. Power walking. <laughs> but listen, I don't knock power walking. Welcome back. But holy Jesus, power walking for me, at least the way it sounds. It sounds like an old lady's activity. You know. Yeah, it's like an old lady's activity. But hey, whatever gets you moving, right? Because remember, walking is the most low risk exercise anyone can ever do to just keep themselves up and running. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. All right, so it's Sunday. Everyone's just chilling. News is on, but not a whole lot going on here. What's up, baby? Yep. All right, I don't see anybody. It's Sunday night. So. Nope, we do not need that. We can do this. If the puppy were willing to walk, we'd actually do that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, boost it, Tanta. Yeah, why not? Give him the boost on his stat. So I'll do a punch it back. The way his physical attacks it hard. Bear in mind, if it boosts agility, that means when you're using that persona, your agility will improve. If you boost the strength, that means when you're using the physical attacks, of yourself or the persona, it's gonna hit harder. If you boost magic, it will boost whatever magic skills they're using. Of course, this does not count for healing or reviving, so. Look at the exam. Yep, I'm in the top 10. All because I got like one or two answers wrong. <clears throat> only, only if you scored the highest. Right, let's begin. Tokami Emitama. Today, we're finally talking about magic right here in Japan. Though I'm sure you think you're familiar with it already. You probably aren't. The view that magic is a dubious subculture is becoming more common. But what is swept into the core of society today was once essential in Japan. It could even be said that magic was invented in Japan. After all, Kimiko of Yamataikoku was a shaman. She reportedly used magic Kokido to control the country. Sadly, we have no way of knowing what kind of sorcery that was. The same is true for Prince Shotoku, who established a centralized government. He practiced Omyoro, so in a sense he was also a shaman. With origins like this, magic was naturally woven to the very fabric of Japan. I don't know what construction is going on, folks, but do forgive me. In the Heian period, for example, 
the borough of Onmyo was established. Onmyoji to expel evil spirits and give spiritual advice. You may be familiar with that from the legend of Abe no Seimei. Even in the age of the samurai, magicians played their part. Many generals who studied divination and military tactics could be considered magicians. Are you all listening? Don't become mesmerized now. <laughs> I'll test you to see how closely you've been paying attention. Get it wrong, you'll hear more taboo phrases. So, Kami Amitama. Who to call on? Ah, Ron, I asked thee. What sorcery was Himiku said to have used? Kido. Very good. Thank you, Kotodama, for that one. The trend of tying magic to people continues the Edo period, but the new government formed during the Meiji Reformation stamped it out. Tsuji Mikado Shinto, which had been revived during the Edo period, faded away. This is what happens when you pay attention to class people. I guess it's still being repaired, so that's another thing to keep in mind. PA, okay. Let's go! The members of the council, I was fly by. Let's see. This was our giddy absent. Okay. <laughs> Playing D. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Busy playing private D. Hey yo! Oh, that's right, cause he's been nosy. Here's someone yelling. So where's your evidence, smart guy? There's no need for evidence. I know all about you. You were arrested for beating up a guy in the park who snitched on you, right? So she approached the student. Oh, he's at it again. That's the third person today. He's accused. See, this is why I can't do female voices, folks. My boyfriend's so pissed he was accused, too. This guy's asking for it. There's around. I'll only watch it. Keeping quiet will not do you any good. If it's not you, then give me some names. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. You have my word as member of the disciplinary committee. Shut up, asshole. Looks like the punk is going to hit Hidetoshi. Oh, let me intervene. Hold on. Let me... Oh, God. I took one for the team. <laughs> Punk. Oh, no. He punched me. I told you before you were able to stop him. Punk walked away. <laughs> Don't think I'll just let that go. Ron. It looks like you want to say something. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> of course. We let people get away with breaking the rules. Things will only get worse. One day, they'll spiral out of control, and there will be nothing we can do. So we should deal with the problem now while we still can. I know what people think of me, but those who carry out justice have always clashed with others. History has proven this to be true. So let this serve as a warning to other offenders. Ron, you're a sensible person. You understand, right? And they tell she's beginning to trust you. I'm gonna get back to business. You should go home before it gets dark. Oh, hey! What up? Yep. Alright, let's talk to her for a little bit. Yep. To that better end, bitches. Yep, nothing new. You know what we can do now? Make money. No, oh, you. It, I, Binga. Aiyam. There we go. Yeah, we gotta make that money. Just look how broke we are right now. Oh boy, the 22nd. We're getting there. Alright, Pinga. 
Another human. Just one. Okay. See? Now we have a reason to go to tartar sauce. I said before, unless we have a reason to, we ain't going there. It's chilly today. I have got all Madonai. Miss Hanui, she left early, so I'll be taking, I'll be teaching today in her place. They say we'll learn about near-death experiences. There's no real reason. It's just been out my mind. Now, near-death experience is defined as something an individual experiences just before death. Is it true insight into the afterlife, or simply a trick of the brain? Opinions vary, but it's true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writings of Plato, Plato, a resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as a spirit. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethnologist Kunio Yaga Yanagita in the Toro Monogatari. Psychologist Carl Jung wrote that in his own near-death experience saw a vision of the earth from afar. I'm sure you've heard your own stories from famous or infamous individuals. I had a few first-hand reports with me today. Let me read you some of them. FYI, I love Carl Jung, but that's if you tripping off straw. I felt as if my soul was detached from my body. I met a friend who was already passed away. I saw my whole life flashing before my eyes. Yeah, I saw the most brilliant light. I was bathed in light. I experienced complete and total happiness. This is called euphoria. These kind of reports are typical. Some have attempted to make direct recordings of near-death experiences. Researcher Kenneth Ring has tried to quantify near-death experiences with a weighted core experience index, WCEI. Modern efforts have led to a new theory of near-death experiences, which go like so. If an individual who is dying denies that fact, he eventually realizes that death is a reality that he must accept and becomes angry. As a result, he tries to do anything he can to extend his life. But the futility of this leads to depression. In the end, he accepts his fate. Although he, we may initially deny death, we we'll accept it in the end. That's just how we humans are. Is everyone listening? It's not every day you hear a lesson like this. How about a little test to prove you were listening? Get it wrong, the memories of your life at school will disappear. Ataka boy Leona Madonai. At night. Of course he always picks me. I asked you. What is the feeling of, ex of happiness in near death experience called? Yep, euphoria. That's correct. Live a happy school life. Some people say a near death experience awakens one's higher consciousness. Whether or not it's true, there's an observably lower fear of death in those who have been through one. Perhaps this is because near-death experiences are surprisingly free of pain and suffering. This is not to say I want any one of you to seek it out. Do the time where you have here wisely, okay? That's all for today. Class dismissed. Ooh, baby. I don't know yet. Maybe. Yeah. Well, my usual suspects aren't available, so. Oh, shit. Okay. Haven't said yet. Sorry, right, I didn't mean to say that loud. Relax, Keisuke. We will get to you. We will get to you, Papa. Just not now. You think this is bad, folks? You should see Persona 4 Golden. <laughs> it gets on my nerves. Hey, homeboy's over here. Frenchie boy. We will get to baby. Just not now. That's my waifu. There she is. Like I said before, it's not negotiable. If she's available, we're doing the thing. Oh, she asked me out. Oh, I'm not gonna say no. Going to college. My thoughts on marriage. I mean, 
Alright. Just my opinion, folks. If I'm gonna remarry, well, I guess because I am divorced, it'll be for love. I don't want to do the social agreement thing because that feels fake as hell. Compromise, that sounds like a business arrangement. Although, if you want to get technical, it is a business decision. If you get down to it. For tax reasons. If you really want to get real about it, because if you truly love each other, you don't need a piece of paper to say that. I'm just saying. But the romantic asshole in me is like, yeah. See, this is why Mitsuru and Akihiko are rightfully shipped in a lot of fandom. For this reason, because they're both all based on logic and not emotion when it comes to problem solving things. That's why those two are two peas in a pod. Like, if anything, if there's any Phantom Thief couples that make sense, it's Akihiko and Mitsuru. I'm just saying that, folks, and I'm not even mad at that. Like, Akihiko and Mitsuru, two peas in a pod. Yukari and Junpei, if Chidori didn't die, other two peas in a pod. I can't say that with An and Ryuji in Persona 5 because the, the two brother and sisterly like, it would definitely be Makoto and Ryuji, for sure. Um, in another distant universe, it would definitely be uh, An and uh, Yusuke. I ain't gotta lie. Because of the fact that like he may seem like a perv, but Yusuke is actually a cool dude. And just like how uh, Naoto and Kanji Another perfect couple. But anyway, moving on. Wow. Hmm. That does happen. I've actually heard stories of this. Not too many, because I'm not always in people's business, but there have been a few occasions where I've heard about how some people, they're like, arranged to get married, and it's like, what the hell? They don't even know each other. And then over time, they just grew love each other. It just happens. It just happens to them. So... Everyone's different, different strokes for different folks. Yes, that is true. Uh, love does come in different forms. There are different types of love. I mean, there's phileos, there's eros, there's agape, so on and so forth. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, just because we live on the same roof doesn't mean we do. We know everything about each other. Come on now. Oh, man. Well, that escalated quickly. Oh boy, it's becoming more intimate. Hello. All right. Oh, Kenny says hi, so I talk to him. Mhm. Mm I think I do. You sound like an adult. What's up, Jupe? Sure am. Tuesday, I can make money. Damn, it had to be today. You know what? Let's go to tartar sauce. Let's do that. I guess the only one that can't come with us. So let's go. And why work when you can go to Tartarus? Make that extra dope while rescuing something. So, there's that. I just gotta know what floor they're on. So, let's do that first. 200 and 206, oh boy. All right, so for this, Mitsuru, you coming with me. Um, Junpei, you coming with me. All right. And then Yukari, come with me. All right. Between 200 and 206, which means we're gonna start here. They're never on the 200th floor, so 
you can F that. This is a boss room, so it's an easy move up. Please spread out and sir. That's already there. There's someone on the There's someone here. Perfect. Split up. Nope. Nope. No stairs. Very well. Yes! I found something valuable. This may be useful. I'll take it with me. Oh no, it saw me. Sorry. It's wrecked. There are two enemies. Ooh. Ah, yeah. uh, I eat those. Yukari chan is Siri. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Shona! I couldn't finish it up. Two enemies left. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, awesome. perfect. We against electric. There you go. Healed her up a bit. That's always good. Watch out! There are four enemies! Ah, uh, they ain't shit. Persona! Three enemies left! Awesome! Yeah, look how much stronger his jump is. It's crazy. Wow! Another enemy defeated! Get him! Wow! Another enemy defeated! One more! Persona! Nice. All right, build up that EXP, boys. Especially for them. This is so friggin' annoying. I gotta fight. Cut the cut. There are three right. enemies. Be careful. The enemy's weak against dark. He's weak against Mudo. Give me a sec. I'll scan out the target. Weak to. I keep it. Wait, I forgot. I got Nick Order. There are Mama three doesn't. enemies left. <laughs> Two more enemies. Got rid of one of them at least. It's weak against fire. Fire, you say? Oh, they hit me. Junpei Kun! Be careful. Junpei Kun is badly hurt. Mano a mano. Let's do this. Not bad, Junpei. Use. It's off! Yeah, keep it paralyzed. That one just won't die. Two enemies left. Need All right, money. Yeah, definitely would have recouped money just coming to Tartarus. Look how much money I got back just from that. So it worked out. Hey, come here! I think I see someone. Yep. Regroup. Everybody, please regroup. The map has nothing else. We got what we came for. Save the lady. Got to crush her fist. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, the game probably don't mean anything either. Yep. 
jump the money up a bit. 